headed out to Paradise Ranch to the home of the godfather of freestyle, Mike Metzger. Remember now, these guys, they're professionals, so don't you try any of this stuff at home. And when Mike has a session at his house, some of the biggest names in the industry always show up. strive to not only just catch air, but to keep pressing the issue, like, oh, that was good, that was a lot of air, that was a big, sick trick, but uh, I haven't had enough, I need to push myself, I need to learn that, I need to go bigger. What they do is just poetry in motion. person that it's in their blood like doing radical things like taking chances and you know just going for it these guys are sick did I say these guys are sick it's all about progression progression and just pushing ourselves to to learn things that we know are possible to, to learn guys are sick. If one of those guys crashes, it'd make a pile up on the 405 look like nothing. Did I say these guys are sick? Well, these guys are sick. Have you ever been injured? Uh, last time I got injured was December 4th, 2004, and I uh, had my left testicle blown out, and all my lower abdominals pulled off of my pelvis back. <laughs> I broke my back a few times, busted both my femurs, tried to stay away from getting hurt, that's for sure, especially now. You know, just uh, a little bit older, a little bit wiser. And, uh, I don't necessarily like to take those chances like I did back when I was a little younger, like knowing that uh, there's a good chance I may end up in the hospital. You didn't even get a workout, dog. Oh, no. <laughs> so... After having a look at some of Mike's x-rays, I know that he knows all about pain. Mike's backyard's like a giant playground where the best freestylers in the whole world come to practice their skills. On any given day, you never know who's going to show up. And when the boys get together, you never know what's going to happen next. I thought you were going to take a break from the big bikes. See, that's what happens. You know, I've been telling everyone I, I got to take a break from freestyling, especially on my big bike. Then I get hanging out with guys like Travis Hart. They show up, and then, you know, it's like one guy does a no-footer, one guy does a no-hander, and then I got to step up and be like, okay, I'm doing uh, 
no footer one hander, ah, oh, double can can. And then it's all just like, yeah, you're in the moment. Then all of a sudden, boom, you get hurt. And it's like, oh, that wasn't that fun. Then you heal up, it's like, oh, where's my bike? It's a really weird thing. Something about a motorcycle and riding two wheels, man. It gets in your blood. It thickens up, man, and it's hard to get it out. So it's like, ah, where's my bike? Where's my bike? I gotta go ride. <laughs> These guys are just like the Everetti battery. They never stop. See that? I thought he was gonna jump over the house. <laughs> Did I say these guys are nuts?